All right, I have a GGAP2000. Um, George Jim loaned me a bunch of locks. This is another one of those. And this lock has five pins in it. Um, they, it's got some really crazy warding here, and that's the main, I guess, defenses of this. I think there's some spools in here. Um, I don't remember. We'll see. We'll see after. Uh, and to pick it, I have this really thin um, SS Dev short hook from Sparrows. It, they have the same profile in two different um, thicknesses. This is the thinner of the two thicknesses. Uh, let's see which way I want to open this. Mm. Let's do this way, I guess. Yeah. All right. So to pick it, I got this uh, short hook, and um, we'll just be jiggle testing each of them. And it's a little bit t tough to jiggle test because uh, when you push down on a uh, pin, you might have to then go another way for the warding, and then you have to push it for the warding. So you, you kind of like you know going back and forth as you work your way down the warding. And that makes uh, this thing a little bit of pain in the butt to pick. But, all right, the first pin is binding. Got a click out of it. Uh, and it is jiggling, so we'll leave that alone. Second pin is jiggling. Third pin, fourth pin. Fifth pin might be binding. I'm trying to get on over it, but um, it's like almost, I guess it's touching that wording there. There we go, got past it a little. Uh, First pin now appears to be binding. Yep, first pin appears to be binding. Let me go ahead and push down on that. It can be tricky to stay on the pin too as you, pin one is a very high lift. Or in this case, because I'm picking it Euro style, style a, a, a low drop, I don't know. High lift, what we refer to it as. All right, second one now seems to be binding. I'm trying to get underneath it, a little bit difficult. And seems loose. Let's double check that first one again. See if that one is, uh, yep, it's jiggling. So it's huge, huge jiggle on this. I think that's set, but it could be in a spool. Um, but there's huge jiggle on that, huge jiggle on the two. Third pin, seems like it's touching the wording. Let's see if I can sneak over that. All right, got to click out of that as I snuck over it. Fourth pin seems binding. Now the fourth pin is like touching the wording. I can't. I can't really jiggle pushing down on it. So the jiggle is um, as I push the 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 diagonal of the pin because it's like a pointed pin and the curve of this, I, I'm forcing this between the warding and the side of the pin. And so as I push on it, I feel I feel jiggle in the push pull direction, right? Right since I don't have room to push down it. So I can I can jiggle test that one like this as I push. And then, um, all right, and the fifth pin feels like it's binding against the back there, maybe. Checking for, no, I think everything's jiggling back there. Let's check the front pins again. Pin one, you can find it there, jiggling. Pin two, I think. Pin two seems to be binding. Let's go ahead and try to get that guy pushed a little. There we go. Push them down. Now jiggling. Pin one, still jiggling. Pin three, jiggling. Pin four, that push jiggle test is jiggling. And pin five. Let me check this again. Three. Well, that's four, isn't it? Four, five. All right, check the front again. One. Where's two? I'm gonna turn on, I have a little, I have a magnifier on my face because uh, my eyes are old and it has a like, little light on it. So let's see if I can look into this keyway and see one and let's see if I can see two as well. Like. That's gotta be two there. And then three. 
and we're open. So a little bit push on three to get that open. All right, let me take this thing off. It's just like a big old magnifier, right? And switch to my normal glasses, and we'll go ahead and cut this guy. Turn on our autofocus, and we'll lock that back up. There we go. Bring in some gutting tools. And let's see. Clip on here. Let's see if we can get this off. Oh wow, it doesn't flex at all. It's gonna be one of those uh, ones where getting the clip off is harder than getting, it's harder than picking the lock. There we go. Clip is off. Get the key. There we go. We'll use a shim because it looks like there's some drill protection, so maybe that is also on the plug. Don't want drivers falling in and breaking another one of Jim's locks. Otherwise, he'll stop lending them to me. And whoop. All right, five pins. I picked this a few times and thought that there was a six pin here really high, which would have made this pretty nasty, um, but it's only five pins. Uh, but each time I picked it like as if it had six pins, I was like, what? I'm just getting really lucky with the sixth pin because I'm never setting it and it just, just opens. So yeah. All right, so there's the five of those. Hmm. So you can see, let's zoom in some, that these pins are very, like they have a chamfer at the top, they're very rounded, and that's what gives that huge amount of jiggle, or part of what gives that huge amount of jiggle. And looking at this plug, it looks like there is over milling, no, counter milling, Looks like counter milling on two through five. So you should have some thin lip spools in the top to interact with those. So number one, oh, let me just get this uh, shim out of here. All right, number one is, uh, what is that, a multi-spool or a serrated? I don't know what you would call that. Number two, same deal, just a bit shorter. Number three is a regular little spool. Four is the same as three. And five is the same as those as well. All right, so there's our pins. Um, yeah, just springs in here are all the same, so I'm not going to pull those out. Uh, looking at these, I wonder if those back ones even play. Like this one has a spool, but that one, this is uh, like, it looks like a no lift even. Uh, a little bit of a lift. And yeah, you see that sits above the shear line. That that spooling area is never going to come into to effect. And for three and five, I didn't feel any spool or anything on these guys. So I'm assuming the same thing. You see it barely sits above the shear line. So you won't feel that one either, probably. And then one and two, I did feel um, uh, that I had to get a little tiny bit of counter rotation once out of this one. Yeah, you can see it sits a little bit high, and then I had I felt two counter rotation things out of uh, the first one, I believe. Um, like there were two spools, and you can see there one, two. So that's exactly what I felt, and that is the GG AP2000. Thanks again to Georgia Jim for sending all these over. Thanks, bye.